guys, I'd like to talk about lithium batteries with internal BMSs. What is a BMS? Battery Management System. That is the device inside of all of these styles of lithium batteries designed to protect the battery. It's nothing more than a switch, effectively a switch that switches off or switches on isolating the connection to this post here so effectively if the battery management system switches off you've got no power at the battery now put simply why does a bms switch off it's there to protect the battery so it switches off when the battery is excessively charged that is the cell voltage is too low it switches off also if your voltage is too high it switches off if the load is too high it, that's the job of the bms it is not in any way a regulator it doesn't regulate input it doesn't allow you to connect any type of battery charger it has no bearing on that whatsoever a BMS is simply a switch why do I make that so clear because there's many in the industry that will tell you otherwise and it, it's quite frustrating to be fair BMS's are a switch they're nothing more they are absolutely not a regulator a common fallacy out in the marketplace is is uh, I guess you could say it's okay to parallel lithium batteries with internal BMS's. It's just not true. You can if you want to parallel them together, but you're compromising the longevity of those batteries. Meaning, if you've got two batteries at 100 amps and you desire a 200 amp solution, put them in parallel. That's what we've all done for many, many years with lead acid applications. What you're doing is compromising the longevity, the life expectancy of those batteries. Why? Quite simply, the battery management systems are not designed to work in parallel. Their job is to separate, or should I say isolate, in the event of a battery getting too low or out of balance. That is the cells inside of the battery becoming out of balance. When there's two batteries in parallel, they don't communicate together. Now, the thing about a BMS, a battery management system, is they have a load rating. Now, if you were to look at this battery up close, you'll notice that this particular battery quotes a 100 amp charge current and a 200 amp load current. Now, if that was a smaller 100 amp battery, the Enerdrive BTEC solution is rated at 100 amps load current. Uh, that's quite high for a 100 amp battery. In many cases, a lot of other lithium batteries with internal BMSs actually quote a slightly lower load current, but that's neither here nor there. When you put those two 100 amp batteries in parallel, you've got a situation where there's two switches working in parallel. Now if you've got, for instance, a 2000 watt inverter, doesn't matter which one it is, 2000 watts is 2000 watts. That has the potential to draw somewhere in the vicinity of 180-ish amps, depending on the load. And you've got two BMSs in parallel, suited in our case to 100 amps, considering that that's quite high in the industry for a 100 amp battery, you're drawing a 180 amp load of two batteries in parallel where each board can handle a maximum of 100 amps. As that battery discharges, one of those BMSs, nothing more than a glorified switch, will switch off, meaning that at the end of their charge cycle, they inevitably are going to protect themselves, they're going to protect the battery, but they don't communicate together. One will always switch off before the other. Now what happens? When you've got two batteries in parallel and one BMS switches off, you've still got a circuit, you've still got over 12 volts because the other battery is still on. The trouble is you've now got a 2000 watt inverter drawing well over 100 amps running off one battery with a board designed to only carry 100 amps. You overload the board. Now here's the kicker. It doesn't kill the board overnight. It doesn't kill the board immediately. It'll cop it, but it's fatigued. It wears it out. It's a bit like having two 20 amp switches, for those in the know, if you put them in parallel and one of those switches switches off and you're drawing more than 20 amps, the switch won't die straight away, but it will affect the contacts. Well, in this case, it will affect the BMS. You will destroy the battery management system 
long term so it won't die today if it died as soon as you did it no one in the industry would subscribe to it but unfortunately it doesn't die straight away now at Anna Drive we are first and foremost specialists in the charging industry that's who we are we build battery chargers we write custom programs and algorithms for all sectors of the industry marine caravans four-wheel drives boats it doesn't matter uh, government applications are huge for Anna Drive we write special charging applications for um, emergency services for Australian defense applications all sorts of situations we know charging so as a result when all of these other lithium batteries are put out in the marketplace and they experience problems we often find out because those situations come back to Anadrive from a charging perspective whenever the system fails it's always the charger's fault that's the first assumption and what we find generally is it's not the charger's fault in fact we see that one of the two BMS's or one of the four BMS's it doesn't matter however many batteries are parallel has switched off and eventually the battery is overloaded it's just not wise to do it if you parallel batteries together lithium batteries with internal BMS's you are really looking for problems we've got a little bit of noise back here with motorbikes coming past so just give me a moment further to the issues with regards to overloading a BMS in the event of one switching off prematurely to the other you have the issue of cells being balanced the job of the BMS is to ensure that the cells stay balanced and that is if they're out of balance it switches off when there's more than one battery in parallel they don't function together there's no point of communication between them and as a result your cells are even more so out of balance now when one switches off and the load remains on the other battery you're left with a situation where that battery is continually discharged eventually it switches off as well or you've got the charger turned back on eventually it's taking maximum current this last battery remaining and eventually this one turns back on and they start charging up but now we're even more so out of balance and that's the issue it's a vicious cycle they get out of balance and then the balance issue is extended as the battery is charged and discharged guys don't do it lithium batteries are an excellent solution you can't want for a better solution if you've got a weight or a space problem lithium is the answer for you but they're expensive we all know that and you get what you pay for with lithium so do it right if you need a 200 amp battery consider the BTEC 200 it's a single BMS with a larger load rating of 200 amps suited to running those bigger loads with a single BMS so all of those issues that we just talked about are overcome if you need more than that look towards the Enerdrive white lithium systems the white lithium systems are a completely different ball game they require they utilize a battery management system that's designed and manufactured by Enerdrive in Brisbane and uh, you can't want for better they operate via completely external components there's no internal board in those batteries and uh, you know everyone's familiar who's researching lithium everyone's familiar with those solutions you couldn't want for a better solution with those products thanks to our external balancing and management system yes we can parallel we've got systems out there at 900 amps at 12 volts and uh, quite a few hundred amps at even as high as 48 volts there's no limitation with a white lithium system we do have limitations with an internal BMS's and I urge you to understand we're not alone this applies to every single lithium battery with an internal BMS in the market today I challenge each and every one of you if you've got a parallel system a lithium parallel system with internal BMS's and you're concerned about the reliability or suitability of your application get in touch with the team at Enerdrive I would like to put them in parallel and show you through two separate monitors through two separate shunts that monitor the batteries independently I'd like to show you the issues that I'm talking about I can replicate the problem and show you on a display how those batteries are charging and discharging out of balance and there's nothing you can do about that with an internal BMS system guys so uh, thanks very much for listening and uh, yeah thanks very much really appreciate it take care